I thought you were going to make another one. I think we're going to make another one. Scan. So, up there. I want to explore this garden before we proceed. You know back in the prison cell they said once the android is unstable it's going to self-destruct so that's what we could have done we could have just left but it's all right i knew they were going to make another one anyway predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Hmm. He's obviously not what I was expecting. But I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. <sighs> okay, so what have we learned? We need to be Hurry, more... Connor. There's little time. We have to be a bit more aggressive when it comes to... the machines, man, you know? So we have to be more like, we don't give a fuck. I don't know, man. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yeah. 
Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. So the thing is, we need to... You have to be a bit more... Don't give a fuck level, you know? What? We just passed through this guy. Take a look at these samples yet? The report says they cut it with The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. All right. So far, there has been no response from either well, that is one uh, minute minute good-looking android, mate. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Okay. Excuse me, do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Knights of the Black Death. coffee Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Enter and listen.
I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? OK. Huh? OK. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey! I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Have a nice day, Captain. Oh, God. This game, yeah. He's not playing. Progress the case. Check on hack. But before we go on the case, we need to explore this police station. Because we had that option. Well, let's just go around and see. Stand by, guys. Stand by. <laughs> so, nothing back here, right? Okay. Are we going to the archive room? Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? Guys, fucked. Oh, we can't take a piss. All right, let's get out of here. Nothing for us in here. Can we go in there? Nope. That's a lift. Oh, hold on. Can we? Oh, okay. Uh, this is the interrogation interrogation room, right? Uh, 
And that's the other one. What's this meeting room? Clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. Model, are you? Yeah. RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Well, fuck off, man. Ignore, I gave man. you an order. I'm Get sorry, out of here. But I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> when a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. <laughs> well, you're not meant to feel pain now. You're not meant to feel pain. Several huh. sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our questions. All right, Mr. Anderson, where you at? Down there. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk? Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Ah, we've well, missed something already. Partners, I'm guess. So, dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. Hey. I like Did dogs. What's your dog's name? Says they cut it with something. What's it to you? Maybe to try another new Sumo. I call him Sumo. Really need the forensics. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well. I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Ah, oh, God. 
You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Fucking Hank, man. <laughs> Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? All right. If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. So you can scan them. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey! Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Oh, shit! I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Well, 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 well. So we got a lot. So what did we miss? We got quite a lot. So we got, we missed, um, what is this? Find Amanda. Oh, okay. So talk about, so there's something, find magic stones or something that we missed. Um, that's okay. Explore police station. Talk to Gavin. Talk with Gavin. Hank got a lead. So you probably might not work with Hank at the end of the day. Mm, explore the police station. So a few people went the other way. Alright, let's continue.